Hello everyone. This is uh, Viva and that has wandered into my room and it died. And I'm going to set this in resin. Uh, and for that I have kind of pinned it in position so that its legs are spread out and not crumpled up as in when it died. So I have gone ahead and poured some resin into a mold and allowed it to set but not completely. So the resin needs to be sticky um, so that you can place the insect uh, on top of it and have it stuck in position. So here I'm going to unpin uh, the weaver ant and hopefully it is in a position that looks natural and not looking like it's uh, dead and its legs are crumpled up. Uh, it's a difficult thing to get right um, because uh, the wings or uh, legs can break while you are trying to get it into an ideal position. So it's best not to you know, do too much. You can see that the under wings here are not perfectly in position and the legs are at a slight angle which is not ideal but it's okay. This mold that I'm using is just about the right size uh, for this and uh, you can see it almost is the same width as the end. So I'm going to place it like this diagonally so that uh, there is some space around uh, the edges. Uh, the trick is to just place it slightly, uh, lightly on top uh, so that uh, the legs uh, stick to the resin and holds it in position. Uh, it's important to do this because uh, if you don't have it stuck to the bottom then when you pour the resin on top it will start floating so that's why you need to uh, pour one layer wait for it to harden a little bit and then stick the insect on top in, in, in the position that you want it to be in. and here ideally I should have used uh, a mold that is slightly larger I also have here a fly uh, I think it's a no, it's a hoverfly. This is something else that I found dead uh, under the light, uh, the night light, and this is come out really nice. Uh, I haven't really changed things uh, around for this uh, hoverfly. Uh, the legs are already in a nice position. The wings are spread out, and this one I will put it into this smaller mold right in the center. And uh, I think this is going to come out really nice because the fly is uh, very ideally posed. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, I have now stuck both the uh, insects in place. What I need to do now is try and uh, uh, dry it out a little bit. And for that, I usually keep these things in a place that's free of dust and I use my camera cabinet, uh, my uh, dry cabinet because uh, one it has no moisture and two it's free of dust um, and it's a safe place where it will not get disturbed. So 
So let's keep it in here and come back after a few hours to check on it. It's been a few hours now. Uh, the molds have dried. Uh, you can see here. And I'm now going to try and pour more resin on top of uh, the uh, insect so that I will get a good uh, cover on top and uh, it will be completely embedded. For this I've heated up uh, a little bit of water and I'm mixing my resin and hardener in this. Uh, I've used a silicon cupcake holder because I don't want to buy a separate container for uh, you know just for mixing the resin and there's already uh, a silicon mold uh, so yeah here's the ant you can see it's uh, set um, yeah uh, heating the resin in hot water while mixing allows the resin to be uh, more liquid uh, and therefore allows the air bubbles to escape uh, so that no air bubbles are trapped. I'll use this toothpick to kind of uh, pour the resin. The uh, important part is not to get any air bubbles stuck under the, uh, the insect uh, and because of the heat the resin is still uh, liquid enough uh, and hopefully that will not trap uh, too much air bubbles anywhere and even the air bubbles that come out of the ant uh, you know because air tends to get trapped uh, in the spiracles and so on and uh, they get released when we pour the resin uh, if the resin is thin enough I think it uh, it gives a chance for the air bubbles to come out on top and uh, and escape. Uh, so I found that this is a good way to minimize air bubbles. Of course, uh, it would help if I kept it in a, a pressure chamber, but I don't have a pressure chamber. So this is my technique for minimizing air bubbles. The smaller air bubbles, you can kind of poke it out. Uh, or move it to the side and you know, burst it. Uh, but using this technique, I get very little air bubbles, uh, at least when I pour. And this one is a fly, the hover fly. And I need very little resin for this. So I'll just pour this and cover uh, the fly with uh, resin. Again, I think the fly has come out pretty, pretty neat and uh, the excess resin I am pouring back on top of the ant. That's it, uh, I have covered both the ant and the fly. And here it's been sitting for another 12 hours and it's hardened completely now it's time to get it out of the mold here's the ant it's looking pretty good uh, I need to take it out of this mold usually I can just uh, you know, press it out like this and separate it from the silicon mold seems to have set nicely you can see here the colors have been preserved quite well you can see the veins on the wings and I can see all around there are a few little air bubbles which if you look very close you can see and uh, the partition between the old and the new resin uh, can be seen slightly but it might uh, set more and uh, disappear after a while let's see the hoverfly 
has also come out pretty neat I think let's see this yeah this looks nice the fly is in a very natural pose it looks pretty alive yeah I think this has come out really nice You can see its wings uh, lifted up and its legs are in a position as though it's still alive and sitting. I really like this one. So yeah, um, the position of the ant uh, could have been a little better. Uh, maybe I should have used um, a bigger mold for this. You can see the antenna are almost touching the side. But it's not bad. You can see the air bubbles here trapped under the wings. Uh, but it's not bad. I will need to sand the top to get rid of the edges, the jagged edges. Um, and maybe polish it a little bit. But I'm still practicing with those techniques. But for now, I think it's come out pretty nice. And here's a fly. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this and it's looking pretty nice. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to come back with more videos on embedding other insects. Thank you.